If you've ever been stopped at a red light and wondered if you had enough tide to, I don't know, maybe check on your kids, enjoy a delicious burrito, or maybe change the artist on Spotify, Audi's actually working on that with the city of Las Vegas. I'm here in Las Vegas where Audi is teaming up with the Regional Transit Authority in order to make traffic lights a little bit more bearable. Now what Audi has done is worked with the Las Vegas RTC in order for their vehicles to talk to basically the traffic infrastructure. So it's talking to these lights via the cloud. It's not talking individually to the lights, but via the cloud, it's able to tell how long I will be sitting at this light. Right now I have 62 seconds before this light turns green. That means if I'm eating a burrito or if I want to take a drink of my coffee or if I have a kid in the back and I want to give them a toy, I can do that knowing that I still have, right now, 51 seconds before the light turns green, which is great if you're a busy commuter or you just want a little bit less stress during your daily commute. Now, Las Vegas is a perfect partner because it's consolidated all of its transit information. Las Vegas' Regional Transit Commission is actually a giant conglomeration of all the transit in the city. So everything is under one umbrella, the whole shebang. So that makes it easier for Audi to make a deal and it also makes it easier for the city of Las Vegas and actually the whole Southern Nevada region to make quick decisions on how the infrastructure is put together and how they make changes and of course partnerships like this. Now off in the distance, we can hear an emergency vehicle which actually trumps how the lights work. Now because it's done that, it's actually turned off the countdown because emergency vehicles can adjust the lights here in Las Vegas. And th there it is, it's coming down the right street. There. Now that vehicle has created basically a four-way stop at this point because it needs to get through traffic. It's, it's one green light is happening over there, everyone else is stopped. And because of that, the Audi has learned that from the infrastructure and adjusted it. While a traffic signal counter doesn't seem like a huge feature, it's actually a baby step to something really important, which is vehicle to infrastructure communication for all vehicles. With that information, the infrastructure will be able to reduce congestion by changing the timing of lights. And that infrastructure can talk back to the car and tell it, you know, maybe you should take a left up here because there's a lot going on downtown. Now currently it's great because it's telling you about the traffic signals and how long you have to wait. But in the future, they're looking into uh, how it works with the uh, Audi start stop system. So if you only have a few seconds at a red light, it won't automatically turn off the car. Also, they're looking at telling you how to optimize your speed limit. So if, if you're doing 30, and you'll hit all the green lights, it'll tell you, you know, maybe do 30, maybe do 25. Of course, it won't tell you to go faster than the speed limit, but when you're driving in an unfamiliar area and there's time stops or timed lights, that's great because A, you're gonna save on, you know, your brakes, but also it makes you feel like a superhuman when you're able to just glide through all the green lights. Audi says that other cities are coming, but it may be a bit more difficult to bring those online as most cities haven't consolidated their transportation infrastructure the way Las Vegas has. Now the vehicle to infrastructure technology is going to be available on most of the new cars that Audi sells, the A4, the Q7, the Q5, and it's going to be available on future models. 